Hey, happy new year. It is a new year and that for me can only mean one thing. Time for a new pair of shoes. And um, this is pretty controversial for me. I've uh, swapped away from Brooks Cascadias, which I've been using for years and years and years and years. And I've gone through, I think from Cascadia 7s all the way up to Cascadia 15s. So like many, many pairs of them, um, and I've been running in the Gore-Tex ones for a while, and if you've looked at my other YouTube videos, you'll see I've reviewed those in the past, and I've also reviewed the non-Gore-Tex version, which is this, these here, these are 14s, and the 14s actually are still going pretty good, but I think that's because we've had a lot more wet weather um, this year, and so I've been running in the Gore-Tex ones a lot more than I would have done previously, so the 14s are still hanging in there. They've, they've got a bit of life left in them. Um, Sadly, the 15 Gore-Tex ones are pretty, pretty tired now. Um, they have started to kind of sort of slop around quite a bit in terms of the support has gone. Um, I mean, these aren't a massively supporting shoe anyway, um, not a huge amount of extra stability. Um, but what I've noticed is the material, because it's, uh, it's stiff, it doesn't have any kind of give in it and spring. So whereas on the, the non-Gore-Tex version, it's quite tight fitting and it kind of uh, hugs the foot pretty well on the non gore on the Gore-Tex one it, there's no give and so when the material starts to go a little bit your foot starts sliding around a bit and that can give rise to issues of running in the mud um, slightly kind of achy feet after a longer run um, and just the lack of kind of security I suppose because the, the shoe is wearing out essentially. Um, I can see the soles are going a bit on the inside, the tread is going quite a bit on the heel. Um, the Gore-Tex is actually leaking a bit as well now which is a bit annoying. Um, and also the heels are actually kind of wearing right through and that's because there's a bit more movement now with this shoe I think. Um, because you don't have quite that secure fit at the front so you, your foot is moving around in the shoe. So, you know, great having lovely dry feet but a bit of a kind of, bit of an interesting one. The shoe is wearing out quite quickly. I've probably had this shoe for about a year now I guess. Um, I think from maybe a, maybe a little bit more but not a lot and so so yeah, I think it's pretty much time to retire these. Um, and I could have gone for another pair, but I, I was looking around and I heard that Salomon have done something which they've not done for years and years and years, which they've actually kind of brought out, firstly, a whole load of new variants on their kind of speed cross shoe. Um, and then they've also made them wider, um, which is, amazing for me because I have never got on with Salomon speed crosses or really to be honest any Salomon shoes because they've had all such a low toe box volume and they've had this really kind of quite aggressive arch support in here and the combination of the two I just found really uncomfortable um I can never really get happy with the fit whereas for the speed cross five this year um and these wild crosses and a few of the other ones in the in the range they're, they're much wider um, and happy days. Um, my big kind of wide feet, uh, I can fit in these things okay. Um, so, so yeah, so I've, I've opted to try Salomon's for a while and because the material is a little bit more water shedding as well, I reckon they're gonna be reasonably water resistant even though I've gone for the non Gore-Tex version. Um, and you know the reason I, I probably would have tried the Gore-Tex one, but they're a lot harder to get hold of. And I just wanted to try these. And everybody told told me that you know Salomon's just kind of don't bother with the Gore-Tex, just get wet feet if you, if, you, if you, and stop being soft. So so I have done. The other thing about the Wild Cross versus the Speed Cross is they've got even more aggressive sole. They've got a slightly lower heel. Um, so this is an eight mil drop versus kind of the speed cross about 11, I think. Um, so it's kind of similar to the Brooks I'm used to. I'm not into really low drop shoes. I, I've never really kind of successfully made that transition, although I tried a few times. Um, it gives me real issues on my Achilles whenever I kind of try lower drop shoes. So, um, so I like the fact that these are eight mil drop, but the fact they've got a lower drop and a slightly wider heel, um, means I think they're going to be more stable in the heel, which is one of the criticisms that people have of the, the speed cross is that you kind of can wobble around a little bit on that sort of high, narrow heel. Um, still got the kind of same sensi fit, which is Solomon kind of known for, and the kind of quick lay system, so they'll be really secure. 
Um, these things fit like a sock. This is a 42 and a half. In fact, no, it's 42 and two thirds, whereas I wear a 44 on these Brooks. Um, and that's because I think Salomon are recommend, and, and I've gone with their suggestion on the size guide, recommend a pretty snug sock-like fit, um, which, will, which should give me lots of lots of security when I'm running around in the really slippy mud around here. This sole, you know, if you can see that close up, that is super aggressive um, on the tread. And much more so in the Cascades, which I find just kind of do get clogged up with mud. And when it gets really muddy, they're, they're pretty hopeless, to be honest. Um, even though they're super comfy and super great on the dry stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, what I'm hoping for is that I'll get less achy feet. Um, new shoe, that, that tight fit. These say, you know, the problem I've been finding with these is the Gore-Tex ones in particular. Um, my feet are sort of slopping around inside the toe box quite a bit. And... Uh, so yeah, I've lost the sort of secure fit that I, I used to have um, when they were newer. So that's that's the, the you know the obviously reason to, and the sign to tell me to change my shoes now. So I'm going to give these a go for a while. I'm going to let you know how I get on. I'm going to take go out for a run with them on. Um, I might try and get a bit of sh bit of footage with them. Um, but even if I don't, I will definitely uh, come and chat back after my run and let you know how I found them. Uh, and let's see uh, what it's like moving from Brooks to Solomon and whether or not uh, that's going to be a good move for 2022. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, certainly looking forward to it. And I love the colour. They're really sort of nice kind of um, greeny sort of colour. Um, I think they call it sage or something. But yeah, it's really nice. Um, and we, you know, that's important, isn't it? Nice colour. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you find this useful uh, and I'll let you know some more thoughts about the shoe uh, once I've tried them out and got them muddy. So <laughs> we are here at the Whitnam Clumps and we've got the Whippet and <laughs> the Whippet and the wife <laughs> and we have got some mud to try out the new Solomon Wild Cross shoes and it's getting a bit dark actually so grey it's New Year's Day um but yeah it's been raining it's pretty grey it's certainly gonna be muddy <laughs> see if we can keep up with the dog Nice and sticky. Whoa! The dog's okay. He's got four feet. It's really muddy. And a perfect test for these shoes. So the first thing I can completely say about these shoes is they are super grippy. No sliding around all oh, so far. And also, they fit a lot more snugly. The heel has got a really kind of secure cup, which I think is another thing these types of shoes are known for. And the, uh, the Sensi fit strap around it is doing the job, keeping my feet in place. So, in comparison with the with the Brooks, definitely a lot more grippy and secure. So we just moved on to the slightly rockier trail, and can definitely notice they're uh, less cushioned than the other ones, the Brooks. But that's kind of nice because it feels like your feet are well connected to the ground. But yeah, nice cushioning under the heel, but not quite so much under the under the foot there. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> and we're just running up now through the woods. I'm not sure if this path is going to go all the way through. Um, it's nice though. It's getting a bit dark, so hopefully we'll be able to see stuff. Okay, on the GoPro.
Running across the muddy field. <laughs> A true test of these shoes. Grippiness. <laughs> it's so soft. I mean, like it's, it's almost like sand. <laughs> You can hear like, the mud, it's like sort of soft clay, but fair play, I've got more grip than my other shoes. It's so muddy, my shoes are almost being sucked off my feet, but lucky that they grip the heel quite tightly, they haven't come off. <laughs> but I can feel my right one, and he's tightening up a bit because it's the mud is trying its hardest to wrestle it off my foot. Whoa! So it's literally coming down this hill. I was thinking, in case any of you are thinking the dog's more interesting than the shoes, which probably is true. Um, he's a two year old whippet called Luca. And he's, uh, he's not gotten completely into his trail running yet, but he's getting there. Uh, and uh, he sort of comes running with us between about 5 and 10k normally and that'll be him done for the day after which he'll spend the rest of the day fast asleep on his beanbag happy days this is a great example of typical Oxfordshire mud <laughs> it's either chalk or it's clay and here it is definitely clay and it's like ice climbing up a rocky path amazingly all the mud has pretty much released from the shoes and we're back down to normal <laughs> normal running shoe weight Whippet is not so keen on the hill, neither am I. That thing he thinks he's going to chase him, isn't it? <laughs> this is the difference between a whippet and a human. <laughs> we are panting away. And look, he's not even out of breath. Just licking his lips. He probably wants a drink. Uh, a little bit just on the top. It's pretty uh, nice and cool and windy. So, just approaching the top. This hill is actually only about, I think it's like 80 meters high or something. It's like a tiny hill, but it's completely flat all around. And it goes pretty much straight up, about 30 degrees up the side. It's pretty steep. We just wound ourselves up the slightly less steep footpath. Yeah, you can see a nice view all around. Again, so slippery, but these uh, shoes are so good. I don't know if you can hear it, it's getting like something's just oh, down and all of the kites are out screeching looking for their dinner. Um, what we're thinking is our oh, Salomons are so muddy, we might try and go down to the river and see if we can dunk everything, including the whippet, in the river. Fish running down. Deep, but these look so grippy, they're so good. I'd say they're like head and shoulders more grip than the brooks, which I kind of knew, but it's oh, nice it's to we try. Back up again. <laughs> yeah, we might just get clean and then just have to go through the mud. It's a little bit less muddy there, though. Ooh. There we are. We're wondering if we might just end up getting more muddy. Do you want to go and have a drink? 
Yeah. You probably would, wouldn't you? Yeah, then just don't pull me in, will you? <laughs> oh, it's so muddy, Lukey. You going in? Not sure about that. This is how muddy he is. He's doing quite well, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah, good boy. Come on then. Good boy. In you go then. Okay, I'm gonna get wet feet now because I haven't got my daughter to shoes, oh, but it really work, has it? <laughs> the dog did not want to go in that You can see so I mean the summary of these shoes is exactly what they found in the box, really. Really secure fit, the heels brilliant, the lacing system is brilliant. You know, the f it's like having a grippy sock on your foot and yeah, super sure. impressed, super comfy, nice mix of cushioning, not as good as the Whippet four wheel drive system, but as good as you're going to get, I reckon. Thumbs up, Solomon. I'm converted for now. <laughs> That's so slippy. It's <laughs> oh my word.